Inside Sim Racing episode 25 is sponsored by Butt Kicker. Take your sim racing experience to the next level with Butt Kicker technology. Get your Butt Kicker LFE for only $300 by using this coupon code at buttkickergear.com today. Hello, I'm Jessica and this is episode 25 of Inside Sim Racing. First off, we're going to announce the 10 winners from our GTR Evolution contest last week. Thanks to all of you out there for becoming subscribers. If you haven't yet, head over to our YouTube channel by going to youtube.com forward slash simracingtonight and click on subscribe. This way we can notify you of future contests and episode release dates. Before I announce the contest winners, Inside Sim Racing would like to send out our apologies to all of our subscribers who couldn't take place in last week's contest. Not to worry, this week we'll have another one that all of you can take part in and here are our last week's winners. Philippe Magden, Michael Larive, Kurt Nelson, Nick Carnell, Radu Hugh, Connor Maloney, Sean Stroud, Tony Elliott, and Emmanuel Gazella. Congratulations, guys. Hope you're all enjoying your copies of GTR Evolution Compliments of Simbin. One person has yet to claim his prize. Check your inbox on YouTube to see if you're that 10th, and we'll get you your GTR Evolution right away. Speaking of contests, if you haven't seen our new daily live show, Sim Racing Tonight, the guys have been giving away copies of GTR Evolution during the live shows as well. Tune in Monday through Friday at our homepage, the InsideSimRacing.tv or SimRacingTonight.com. In addition to Sean and Darren, I will be making some appearances on SRT Live as well. On top of that, Opinion Nation with Frosty St. Clair and John Prather will be coming soon. We're looking forward here to seeing what those two are going to come up with. It will be live and unedited, and they'll take callers via TeamSpeak. Stay tuned to Sim Racing tonight for more details. Before we move on, make sure to visit our sponsor at buttkickergear.com to check out the Butt Kicker Gamer and LFE kits. Make sure to use our promo code to take advantage of some big savings. All right, guys, iRacing's got the top story for this week. On August 26th, iRacing's co-founders and owners, John Henry and David Kamer, announced the launch of their highly anticipated auto racing simulation and internet racing service. Today marks the commencement of an entire new sport, internet racing, said Henry, a moment Henry and Kamer have eagerly envisioned since iRacing.com's birth in 2004. Previously, only select individuals with virtual driving experience were able to participate in this simulation. Now, virtually anyone in the world can develop his or her driving skills and compete with internet racing. It is subscription-based, however. As Henry stated, it offers affordable opportunity to participate in an authentic racing experience and to join a community of people who share their passion for racing. This simulation is said to be entertaining and educational. Their secret? Accuracy. Well, it did take four years of development and testing. Taking the time, using proper tools, and making the effort to get it right is how Henry and Kamer achieved this high level of accuracy. Kamer stated that it has always been his long-term goal to develop a simulation with utility far beyond entertainment, a sim that would provide a learning experience with real-world application. This real-world application is achieved with virtual tracks. iRacing engineers have developed proprietary software which makes it possible to use extremely accurate data. This data is generated by a three-dimensional laser scanning technology to develop a bump map. What does this bump map do, you ask? It lets the driver of the sim experience every nook and cranny of a lap, down to the finest detail, making the car in the sim respond exactly as it would in the physical world. Our goal is simple, to make each lap driven in the simulation as valid as a lap driven on the real world version of that track, said Kamer. Composed of a complex system of mathematical functions that allows replication of action and reaction using data-driven calculations, to the driver, it will feel real because mathematically, it is real. In closing, Henry stated, Development of the simulation and the service, and the addition of more cars and tracks, is and will be a continual process. But opening the service to all comers is an important milestone in the life of the company. They currently have some package deals going on tracks and cars, up to 20% savings. Head over to iRacing.com if you're interested in taking part of the new sim racing world they've created. Okay, we're at the midway point. You know what that means. It's time for us to take a commercial break. 
When we return, Darren will have some news from Sweden and his friends at Simbin. Simbin announced the release date of yet another title using the G-Motor engine. STCC The Game will be based on the Swedish Touring Car Championship. It will become available on September 19th and is another expansion to Race 07. The STCC runs the same lineup as the World Touring Cars but also includes the Audi A4 and the Volvo C30s and S60s. Also included in the car lineup will be something that I'm really looking forward to and that's the 2008 Camaro Cup cars. This is based on the Camaro Cup series that has run alongside the STCC series on and off for the last 20 years. Seven new tracks will be included as well, most from Sweden and one from Norway. It will be distributed in stores in the Nordic region only and will be available on Steam worldwide. We'll have the first preview copy available to the media here on SRT and we'll give you guys a preview of it like we did GTR Evolution. So it looks like Darren will be caught up in that Camaro Cup once it becomes available. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank our show sponsor, Butt Kicker. This show is sponsored by Butt Kicker Technology. Get a Butt Kicker Gamer for only $69.95 with this coupon code. Take your sim racing and gaming experience to the next level by going to buttkickergear.com. On to some console news. Our first about the Nintendo Wii. Having introduced its force feedback products in 1998, Logitech has designed 19 models of force feedback wheels. And more than 100 racing titles have supported Logitech force feedback technology on a variety of game platforms. On August 21st, they announced the Speed Force Wireless Racing Wheel. This is the first force feedback wheel for the Wii. Licensed by Nintendo, Logitech's newest force feedback wheel works with electronic arts, Need for Speed Undercover, and paves the way for more force feedback racing titles on the console in the future. With Grid being released on the DS, maybe the Wii will follow? Set to be released in the US and in Europe this November, the Speed Force Wireless is a one-piece design with gas and brake controls located on the wheel itself. By eliminating the cable, players can enjoy racing from up to 30 feet away from the console. Through advanced software, the Force Feedback Wheel is precise in its ability to accurately emulate forces experienced in the game. Logitech's Force Feedback Wheel will retail for $99.99. We'll show it to you here on the show as soon as we get our hands on one. Next up, today is the Mod Squad. As the guys talked about on the live show, Trellit.net has released the Legends mod for R Factor. This mod has created quite a stir. In just one day, it has gotten over 1,800 votes with a 4.5 rating. Sean is going to take a spin and show you what they're all about. We covered the Legend mod by Trellit on the show earlier. We even got to drive these cars in advance. But after watching the reactions of the community and seeing the mod jump right onto the R Factor Central Hall of Fame so quickly, we felt the need to tell you more about this great mod. The Trellit Legends car mod was two years in the making. It follows the incredible racing cars created by Inex that are raced all over the world. Anyone that has been following grassroots racing certainly knows about these little racers. They utilize a motorcycle engine and a monster one at that. A 1250 or 1300 cc Yamaha engine producing 125 to 150 horsepower. This is then stuck into a 5.8 scale body of a 30s or 40s coupe. This adds up to a lot of fun. The cars are made to be able to run on just about any track surface and are fit for both road and oval setups. What more could you ask for? The Legend Cars mod comes with more than enough paint jobs to choose from features the 34 Ford body in either a coupe or sedan. 
It also comes in two variations for either road or oval, the difference being in setup. The models are top-notch including many details normally not seen like air venting and engine parts. The interiors in a real Legends car are pretty basic, and the interiors of this mod are equally simplistic, just what you need to motor it around the track. Driving the Legends car mod is where the pleasure really begins. The cars are very lively, well-balanced, and very sure-footed. That doesn't mean that's how they're best driven. The cars desire to be overdriven to an extent, hanging the rear end out in corners being the fast way around the track. This will also have you all over the wheel trying to get a handle on these little beasts. Driving the car on road circuits can be quite challenging and getting the balance of the car critical to suit your style. As recommended, this can be done mostly by moving weight forward or back, allowing the car to slide more or less into the corners. From that point on, it will be all gas pedal and feathering the wheel to get out of a corner fast. Taking to the ovals will also be a blast. They are so quick, agile, good handling, and small that it will be a free-for-all with cars darting in and out. The cars felt quite at home on the ovals and the racing was good. These cars were built with feedback from beta testers including the 2007 Legends Pro Division World Champion Rory Pentanen as a test pilot. He is also a sim racer and a few others who are racing in Finnish Legends Trophy Series. In addition, they also obtained real tire data from BF Goodrich, got real measurements of the suspension and chassis, and dyno sheets for the shocks. Everything that could be done to make this mod feel real was taken, and it has paid off hugely. One disappointment are the sounds. They are good, but they do not match the quality of this mod in other areas. Here's what a real Legends car looks and sounds like. Here's what the Trellet Legends mod looks and sounds like. Again, it's a nice attempt at the real sounds but falls short mostly in intensity. There are also some realism items missing mostly due to R Factor's limitations. The cars have motorcycle engines and therefore should have reverse. Also, some of the gearing is different than real life settings also due to the engine type. The last gripe is the cars didn't feel nearly as good with standard force feedback. This was immediately remedied by using the real feel settings supplied by Trellet. It cured that and made the cars feel great. But not everyone uses real feel and the cars won't feel as impressive without it. With iRacing coming on the scene, there is likely to be many copies or attempts at copying their versions of cars and tracks. Putting them head to head is an interesting subject. I have never driven a real life Legends car, so my opinion is fairly unimportant. I can tell you that the iRacing Legends car was easier to drive. It was a little more straight line stable, a little less twitchy, and harder to drive sideways. It was also slower, a full 3 seconds slower at Laguna Seca. When I watch videos of these cars, I can see how much they slide in and out of corners and how the drivers handle them like they are driving in the dirt. The Trellet mod definitely seems to be more like that. Graphically, they both have outstanding models. I remind you that the Trellet mod was two years in the making by a group of people looking to create and recreate the close field battles of this class of racing. This was no copy or attempt to be the first to mimic iRacing. This was just our first attempt to compare a great R-Factor mod to iRacing. And what Trellet has accomplished here is great. These cars might be little, but they pack quite a punch. They are number 30 on the R-Factor Central Hall of Fame, and I think that is conservative. Go to R-Factor Central and try this one out. You won't be disappointed. I'm Sean Cole for SRT. Now back to Jessica in the studio. So that's another show in the books, but before we get going, I wanted to give another copy away of GTR Evolution. This week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and post a comment about this show, episode 25, at our YouTube page. Only one entry per person, and then we will randomly pick a winner from everyone that makes a comment. Good luck to everyone out there, and be sure to post those comments, and remember to be nice. I'm reading all those comments, guys. The checkered flag is out, and so am I. Inside Sim Racing episode 25 is sponsored by Butt Kicker. Okay. 
three. Three. <laughs> so sorry. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> so. Three. <laughs> Are we rolling? Yeah, I wanted rolling. to get it all out of my system, that's all. Let's get them all out right now. But you're watching me. <laughs> so okay. is everybody else. Okay. <laughs> Don't use this. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not doing You ready? Don't use this. I won't. You will. That's the problem. Okay. Alright, you ready? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Welcome to Inside Sim Racing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more time. Wasting battery. Okay, I'm wasting battery. We're looking forward to here. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, say. Com. Always, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> I racing. <laughs> yeah, met the adequately. We currently have some package deals on tracks and cars, up to twenty percent savings on the tracks and cars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I didn't catch that. Transitioning back to Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I should have put an arrow or something oh, there. Funny. You were rolling though. Yeah, you were on a roll. Like <laughs> okay. Transitioning back to Jessica. <laughs> Lawn burgundy. Oh my gosh. Wait. Ugh. Start it. Start it and more squad. I want to do the last part all over again. Okay. Real feel. Real feel. <laughs> when I was doing that real world, I wanted to say real feel, but I just like held back. See, that's what I said wrong by eliminating the cable. Yeah, just slow it down. When we get our hands on one, uh, okay, we'll show it to you as Will. Yeah. As the guys talked about on the live show, Trellet has announced. <laughs> I'll just start off over again. <clears throat> As the guys talked about on the show, <laughs> <laughs> Net has announced, what the hell? <laughs> okay, I'm really gonna do it this time. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Thinking about something else. <laughs> okay. Checkered flag is out and so am I. I said the checkered flag is out. <laughs> And you're gonna go to your checkered flag? Yeah. Actually, you like. person, and then we will randomly. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say something before be nice. What was it? And the service, and. Good luck to everyone. <laughs> I can't stop laughing because it's like, how many takes we do? 